an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Hey, so excuse the way I look, but I just had to get something off my chest. And I don't normally like to put stuff like this online publicly, but enough's enough. And I've had enough. Oh, and I'm at the gas station. That's why I'm at, in my car. I'm still on my weekend getaway trip. Um, but I came here to, for one, get ice, and two, because I just don't really have that good a service at the camper. So, anyways, but back to what I'm making this about. Um, a lot of you've been wanting me to talk on, tell my story about why me and Shane separated. And I wasn't going to do that because, again, I don't normally post stuff like this or talk about stuff like this on my page. I feel like, I, I really hope that I don't upset some of my followers because my page is always about being positive and um, cooking and just life, you know. I don't like to, I don't like drama. I don't. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I have decided, especially after recent events to go ahead and do that little story time. So here goes. About the middle of March when Shane, it was actually the day he got back from his golf trip. You know, I've been telling y'all I missed him so much while he's gone. But the day he got back, he handed me his phone because he wanted to show me pictures from his trip. And you know, he was telling me all about his trip, you know. Just a normal day, you know, so excited for him to be home. Then I came across a picture, and it wasn't too explicit, but it did raise a red flag. And I was already, like, he, he was wanting me to look at the pictures, and I was saving them to his phone so that I could take them from his phone and send them to my phone and include them in that nice TikTok video so I could tell y'all an update from his trip. Uh, but anyways, when I was in the camera roll, I, I got myself a red flag, and then it led me to look at messages, because I, I don't usually do that. Um, but I found messages between him and our next door neighbor, Hannah, and it was very, very clear that they had been sleeping together, and so... I asked him about it and he was honest and I asked him all kinds of questions I was I, I can't even explain to you the way I felt I was broken I was absolutely destroyed our marriage was so happy or so I thought you know um, and, and I think that he would tell you the same thing honestly I don't think he even knows why he did what he did he don't like her he never did I think he just used her uh, but then again, she used him because she's married. Um, but it, it, I don't wish infidelity on my worst enemy. Um, I have never felt that way before. I've never, I didn't even know that a hurt like that existed in this world. I love him. And I won't even say that in the past tense. I love him. I will always love him. And I've told all y'all even, you know, I'll never, I'll never get back together because all of you were like, I hope y'all get back together. I don't, I have, I have told y'all that we'll never get back together, but I, I shouldn't say that. I can't say that. How can you say that about somebody who you love so much? Um, but I do know that I'll never be with anybody else, um, ever. And I, I can say that. Anyways, back to my story. Um, she was texting me the very night that I was reading all of their messages. And she was wanting to come over to the house and get some corn dip, actually, out of the refrigerator. Um, her and her husband came over to our house every day, every day, and ate supper with us. They were like family. Um, they were very, very close friends. I shoot fireworks out here or something. Anyways, um, 
So I just texted her back and I said, no, in fact, you can't come get food out of my refrigerator and you're never coming back to my house again. I know what's been going on and, and she ended up telling her husband, um, she's still with her husband, but Shane and I have been separated ever since. Um, in fact, this last couple weeks, he's been at the house more um, than usual because, you know, he would come and he picks Caden up on my late nights and takes him home and, um, you know, he's around. He's the father of my kids, you know, like he's going, he's going to be around. And, um, but he's been around more lately because he's been, we thought the house was sold and he's been at the house packing all the rest of his stuff up because he's done bought a house. Um, and he's moved in and everything, but he still had a lot downstairs. So he's been getting all that out and helping me pack. Um, so we've been spending a lot of time together, but I will say that from the day the affair reared its ugly head, he's been nothing but remorseful. Like, he's been working on himself. Um, we've he talked, we've had some he got caught. very long talks about why he thinks this happened. Um, We've even talked about our Christianity. So I feel like God is, after four months, like, is it in the beginning? Mm. I just couldn't imagine being able to get past what has happened. And I may not ever be able to. I may not ever be able to. You can. But I feel like God is um, asking me to at least try. But what's so funny, and the reason that I finally decided to do this is because Hannah, however, has not been remorseful at all. The day after, maybe a couple days after um, it came out, she went to Chipotle and got her and her husband some food. And guess what she ordered and posted on TikTok about? Because she, sorry, my phone keeps cutting off. Some but guess what dip. she's ordered from Chipotle and decided to post on TikTok about? Because she has quite the following on TikTok herself. Um, she ordered the home record bowl. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Um, but yeah, she's been very immature this whole time. Not remorseful at all. Um, acting very childish. <clears throat> and it's been hard so far for me not to want to do a story time and just put her out there like I feel like she needs to be. And I do know that it takes two to tango. You don't have to tell me that in the comments. I know. Hey. And Shane is living his consequences for the last four months. You have no idea. That is why we're separated. That is why he doesn't live with me. That is why I am on a fantastic weekend right by myself with my dog. I will be fine if we never get back together. Um, I know it takes two to tango. But there is a difference in someone being sorry for what they've done. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. This one was just a very hurtful one. Um, everybody deserves to be forgiven. If, well, you should forgive in your heart no matter what. But everybody deserves a second chance, in my opinion, if they are remorseful and they take the appropriate steps for that to happen. And that's all I'm gonna say about that because I don't know what my future holds. I don't know if I can get past this. But what I do know is that when you keep on pushing and keep on pushing and keep on pushing, and I'm talking about her right now because she continues to post about me and my house, like it's getting a little obsessive. It's almost like she's really obsessed and wants to wear my skin and it's getting old. I'm trying to forget about her. I am trying to move on with my life, whether it's with or without Shane. Um, I was so excited when I thought that house was sold. Which, by the way, she's even posted on her Snapchat a picture of my house and talking about how we are idiots if we think that our house is going to sell for a million dollars. <sighs> it took 
a lot for me to bite my tongue. Um, million dollars. And it will, by the way, or maybe not quite that much because we keep discounting it a little bit here and there, but it's close to it and it will sell. Um, reg nevertheless, never so between her Chipotle home record bowl and her posting about my house, and then she has also made numerous TikTok like she's went live uh, with her followers talking about because people would it started to come out like it started to get out, you know, when stuff like this happens, it always gets out, and so most of you have already read about it on Reddit. But when people would ask her about it in her comments, she would say, me and my husband are happily married and we have nothing to do with what's going on over there. So she's not taking ownership or accountability for her actions whatsoever. Um, it's, it's, it's starting to get a little obsessive because today someone sent me where she posted on her private snap, at least I think it was her private snap, a picture of my house with Shane's truck outside talking about how oh I thought y'all wasn't getting back together you can't live without him and you know it um miss ma'am I'm in Foley living my best life with my dog and Shane's truck is at my house right now because he is picking up our son and feeding our dogs and then once he did that he went right back to his house with them kids but like what does it even matter why are you so obsessed with us and or me or him like I feel like because the very next one was a picture of my dog Duke outside and she said she must be stalking my TikTok page even though I have her blocked um, because she said you're gonna keep that dog that Duke belongs to Shane. You don't give him attention anyways. Are you serious right she now? She plays him petty. Like, why does someone who cheated on their husband and took part, is not fully responsible, but took part in ruining my marriage, concerned with which one of us keeps that dog? And if I keep Duke, by the way, it's only because Shane asked me to. I really do feel like she was almost hoping that we would separate and she got excited once we did, thinking that he would want her and so then she could leave her husband and they could go live happily ever after and that is that's crazy a matter because if y'all know her y'all would know y'all would know why that would be a laughing matter don't nobody like her she is so annoying um we all put I mean, up you, with her because like we her. like mike so much but yeah mike was as good as gold and everybody liked him so we put up with her but uh even now like he's done started to be drama too Every time I see Shane, whether or not our boys are on the boat or not, he hollers, who knows what. Um, and you know, the boys don't know what, what happened. The girls know, but the boys don't. Um, anyway, for example, on the 4th of July weekend, cause I even went with them. So it was me, Shane and the boys on the boat. And we, and Jess, our friend Jess, and her husband and a bunch of other people um were out there because you know fourth of july and it was probably gonna be my last weekend on the lake anyway so uh but we passed by their boat and it was just him and her in that boat and he hollered who knows what while our boys was on the boat like who does that i mean yeah the and right not only to... that but you look real stupid doing that when you're sitting next to one of the guilty parties. So like, you just gonna be mad at Shane? Or are you mad at me? Like, what in the heck did I do? I just wish both of them would leave me alone. That's why I got so excited. I was ready to move so bad. But it won't be long and I'll sell that house. Mm. And I will not be the idiot that she thought I was gonna be thinking it would sell for that much because it will. All in God's time. But anyways, there's a lot of reasons why I decided to go ahead and make this video to begin with. Um, 
one is because she does have such a following and a lot of the people who follow her look up to her because she posts all this stuff about mental health and um, I don't know cosmetic stuff and I don't want any young women in particular to be following her and looking up to the kind of person that she is everything she says is fake she is a very selfish drunk who never grew up she didn't have a good home life and that part was not her fault but she's definitely not somebody to look up to so if you're following her beware and I probably wouldn't just saying but I also post this video to sort of just get it off I don't your chest know, reach out to others who've gone through this and let you know that you're not alone um, I felt so alone and I felt so stupid for not having knew about it or seen the signs of it like I said our, our marriage was so so happy I was so happy um, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get past it but I want people to know that it's okay to give yourself that grace I've, I've only been doing what I can do. I've been working on myself. I have been getting my nails done and going to the tanning bed and I have been, I'm, I'm on a trip right now. I'm taking uh, time to myself and I've gotten my hair done, which is time to do it again, but. I don't think she over her marriage. Just take care of yourself and do what you can, but um, don't beat yourself up like I did in the beginning and know that it's okay whatever you decide and i really hope that you all agree with that because i don't if if i decide to see how things go with shane and and try to reconcile one i don't know if i can get past all this i do know that once i'm out of that neighborhood i will have a better chance at being able to get past yeah. all this but I don't know if I can, but if I can get past all this, I would love to reconcile. He's, he has been expressing the entire time that he wants us to reconcile. And, um, but I would love that if I can. But I know now through lots of prayers and lots of time and lots of crying and like one day I would be like, oh, absolutely not never could I ever and then the very next day I would be like I miss him so much and he's so sorry um, but I'm not gonna be naive and I know that it's okay to not be okay and I know it's okay to not have all the answers yet so I'm just living one day at a time and I'm I'm trying to purposefully do that with a little bit of selfish like I'm I'm putting myself first and that's all I can do um, I don't want to be too selfish you know I'm not trying to say that but I'm it's okay to not have all the answers that's the probably the biggest advice that I can give anybody who's going through this is it's okay not to have all the answers because I was trying in the beginning so hard and like I said one day I'd feel one way the next day I'd feel the other and I didn't know what to do and I finally I, I like literally had to get on medication <laughs> I went to the doctor um, but I've, I've been able to since then come off the medication. Thank gosh for, um, you know, that kind of medication for people who are having some mental health problems because I was, I was like, I felt like I was going crazy. Because like I said, one day I'd be feeling one way, the next day I'd be feeling some other way. And uh, then I finally just realized I don't have to have an answer yet. Like, we're separated. He's got his own house now, and I'm going to sell this house, and I'm going to buy myself a house. And if one day I feel like I can um, reconcile, then I'll reconcile. And if I don't, I won't, because I ain't trying to get nobody else. I do not need a man. I've already told y'all that. <laughs> but I do love a man, and I love Shane. I will always love Shane. I do believe 
that marriage is important and I believe that God always wants you to fix your marriage if you can. Uh, she going back to him. And if you can't in in this situation, if you it can't, might take some time. He would be okay She'll be back. back. But when it comes to Hannah Duke, I've had enough. So Hannah, if you're watching this, leave me alone. Try and move on a little bit. Because even if I don't take him back, he's not gonna be with you, honey. I'm sorry. I know that probably hurts your feelings, but it's never gonna happen. And to all my followers, I am glad that I finally opened up and did this. And I'm also sorry to those of you who are not gonna like that so much, but try to be respectful. And I also am not doing this so that you can give me all your opinions on whether or not I should reconcile my marriage because that is only a choice that I can make and I don't want to know what you think about it really. I'm not saying that in an ugly way, but that's the decision I have to make for myself. And um, I love y'all and I will keep showing y'all the rest of my wonderful trip. Hannah Duke's screenshots. Y'all always believe one side story and think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious, actually. Not even stressing over this BS. Stay believing everything on the internet. Someone just needed clout, as always. Can you tell us what really happened? She says, that's what everyone, that's what everyone wants me to do. They also want me to make an apology video for the whole world to see. I'm not going to do it. I apologized to her and her family once she found out and texted me about it. She wasn't rude. I wasn't rude. But to be honest, I don't owe anyone an explanation. It's not that I don't want to because I do, but I also have other things in life going on that's bigger than this. I choose to keep it off the internet because I have that right to and I am not. She said being rude or even trying to be a B-I-T-C-H about it, but I will say this. This isn't his first time cheating on her, but she doesn't want to mention that she, her so-called best friend had to convince her to get back with him because she was going to leave him. So y'all can dog me as much as you want, but also know that there are three sides to every story. If you have a common sense and human decency, then you would understand. Mm. Nah, I don't believe it. She said, somebody says, not saying it's tr all true, but if it's one-sided, why don't you share your side like she did? I think that's why a lot of people are confused. And she says, Hannah responds back as, because she likes the clout it's giving her, I don't need or want people feeling sorry for me like she does. She, yes, she's the victim in it, of course as well as my husband, but you don't see my husband going making videos trying to make people feel sorry for him. What does that matter? You, you slept with his uh, husband. He and I chose to work on our marriage in peace. She spelled P-I-E-C-E, -E, <laughs> not P-E-A-C-E. Uh, we do not need a whole internet knowing what's going on in our personal life like her, but you know it's her account so she can clout chase all she wants. But my husband and I are good and we are working through it. Y'all know I'm always real with y'all, but I do have to, the right to keep certain things off the web. Lastly, someone says, I don't agree with the situation, but I have major respect for you and how you're handling this. The respect for working on your marriage in private and not plastering all over social media. Y'all will get through this and be stronger than ever. Keep, keep going, girl, you got this. Hannah replies, I appreciate you and others who have said this. I'm human, they're human. We're all human, human stuff happens. But it's up to you on how you handle the situation. I, and I think I'm doing pretty good, a pretty good job. Because the, once the internet gets themselves involved in your personal life, that's when things get messier. And, and either party, neither party deserves that life must go on. It is up to you to set boundaries, and I'm never let someone belittle you for selling, selling, setting boundaries. Since everybody's wanting me to make a story time, I'm gonna make it. You're gonna have to pause to read this, and this isn't made up shit. So he says, Fourth of July weekend on 2023, we went to Jessica and Michael Ray's like we have for the past two, three years. Well, Jess is in the pool, Michael's standing outside. 
and pulled by just me and Shane Mike and a few others. Well, Jess says, let's show our tits. Jess went first. I was iffy about it, but I did it. And Mike was standing right there. No one cared because we were all like family. Anyways, Mike wanted to go home early. Miranda didn't want to begin with, didn't want to come to begin with. So Mike takes my car back home. And before he left, I said, I'll just ride with Shane if that's okay. Mike looks at Shane and said, is, is it okay? Shane says, yes, that's fine. So after we left Jessica and Mike a raise. I don't know what time it was, but it was late. We were driving home. Shane asked me if, after we left Jessica and Mike a raise, are you as drunk as I am? I said, I don't know. I had two huge bottles of wine, so maybe. So here's how it starts. Maybe we'll, he keeps inching his hand over toward me. And when he we get to the split where you turn right to go to our house, he stopped and said, come here. I asked why he said, just come here. So I leaned in, he started kissing me. Then he made his way down into my pants. I wasn't wet or anything because I was so thrown off. I tell him to stop. He goes, are we cool? As we were driving off, I said, yeah. Well, I text him the next day and said, we need to talk. He said, okay. A few days later, rolled by. I text him again and said, we need to talk. He said, I don't know when I'll be able to with Miranda around. I said, okay. From that point on, we would regularly text about random things. Wow. Started. Here's the second part. Then it was September when Shane and I first had sex at mine and Mike's pier in the water. I text the group, our friends and family group we were in with Shane and Miranda. I said, y'all come over the kids and let's go swim at the pier. Now, first of all, I didn't know something was gonna happen. I was just being nice and wanted us all to hang out. So that's dead honest truth. So the boys swam over. So we're all in the water at the time, except Mike. So when the boys get out and Mike goes and shows them something, like maybe the fishes, I'm not 100% sure, but they were all right there at the door to the boathouse. So I'm still in the water with Shane. Then I move off the noodle I was floating on and he moves my swimsuit bottoms and puts his in me. What? <laughs> oh, fast forward. I was feeling guilty. So I text Jessica Ray stating I had an affair. And so she let me drive over to her house and she asked, was it with Shane? I said, yes, it was. And so we talked. And she says she would never tell Miranda, but that it better not happen again. And she then told me about the time Shane cheated on Miranda before and that she just had to save them from being broken up. Fast forward to January this year. He and I were still texting and sending pics, etc. Well, Miranda went on a beach trip in January with her mom and some other ladies. So when she was gone, I was in Tuscaloosa at my brother's house and he texted and said, if you come home, you can get it. So what did I do? I packed up and left my brother's and I felt so stupid for it too because he really wanted me to stay, but I was being selfish. I get back, Mike went and had dinner over there before I came home. He texted me and said, ready when you are. I said, okay, let me turn the cameras off. So then I sneak over. Oh my gosh. And last but not least. She says, sneak over there before I came home. He texted me and said, ready when you are. And I said, okay, let me turn off the camera so I can sneak over there into the boat house. He sneaks on the other side of the house, come down to the boat house that night, done. Fast forward to March, he goes on a golfing trip. He and I are texting back and forth while he's gone. I have no idea what prompted her to go through his phone, but she did, and that's when she found out. So yeah, that's how it all went down. Since people want to make up lies and say some bull that I never said or did, I am not saying what I did was right, but I'm telling the truth about how it went down. Also, prior to this, I never cheated on Mike. And he never cheated on me, so stop going around stating that that both happened prior to this.
you all wanted to hear my side and everything and let me remind you that it takes two it takes two people to do this not just one. Oh, and here's his facebook in case y'all wanted it we didn't oh and another thing since she wants to say that i had chipotle and got the homemaker bowl girlfriend i have never had chipotle a day in my life i've only had mo's and mo's only but not to mention, you said that I went and had Chipotle the day after you found out and got the homemaker bowl. No, ma'am. I went to a funeral. And you know that. I can show the proof that you know that we went to a funeral. So just stop. Stop telling lies. I went to the funeral with my husband. And then we went to a restaurant down in Hoover. Not Chipotle. Not Moe's. So where are you getting that information from? When you know I went to a funeral the next day. Because you stated, don't tell him right now because he's got the funeral tomorrow. Do I need to put the screenshot in? That's what I thought. Also, when I go to Moe's, the only thing, and the only thing I ever get from there, and I always have, is the home record bowl. Hey, hi, good morning, good afternoon, whatever the fuck you want to call it. People really want to know um, what I mean when I say that Hannah acts just like her mother. If you've ever had the misfortune of meeting Hannah's mother, one, I pray for you every day. I'm so sorry that you had to deal with that. For Hillary, Hannah's mother, is not just psychotic, but the, the woman is also a sociopath. Sociopaths do not, under any circumstances, have the ability to feel remorse or sympathy for anyone other than themselves. They get themselves into situations that they nine times out of ten have caused on their own, and it doesn't go their way or they don't get what they want out of whatever you know, the situation was that they did cause for themselves, they play victim. Hannah has done this her entire life that have been on multiple occasions with, you know, one of her mother's past boyfriends um, and several of our family members where Hannah has lied and said things that were very untruthful um, to the extent of getting people into a lot of trouble. A comment was made by another family member of ours and I honest to God could not agree with that more simply because it's, it's the truth. If you've ever met Hannah, if you've ever been in a close setting with Hannah, if you went to school with Hannah, you know exactly what I mean. I say that that girl is a sociopath. Like, she does not have the ability to be remorseful or sympathetic to anybody else other than herself. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wizard, Dizzy Keezy Keezy Lit. Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this video let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section make sure you guys hit the link below we got hivemindlabs.com hivemindlabs.com we get that super fat burner man make sure you undig that back today okay with diet and exercise you'll be on your way to being slim trim and ready to win okay like OU in the SEC baby we're gonna be wearing OU you know, to dominate till we dominate the SEC which will be this year anyway Shout out to uh, Hannah Duke and her neighbor Miranda. <laughs> Miranda and Shane. Miranda and Shane, they are all TikTokers. Okay. Uh, Hannah Duke obviously has the higher, the bigger following count. But um, it sounds like to me these people got a lot of money and a lot of uh, free time on their hands because in the free time, uh, Hannah Duke was sliding over there and getting down with uh, Shane. All right, <laughs> talk about it. she got the wet noodle, okay? <laughs> Pulled her panties to the side and put the in. That's what she said happened, okay? While the, while the husband and the boys were at the house looking at fish. That's crazy. They was just sitting over there at the dock at the end, just getting it on. That is so trifling. That's so trifling. Shane, your wife. You, you you don't deserve your wife. <laughs> Not for that. Not for that. You know what I'm saying? Behind her back. And then you didn't even delete the text messages, bro. You was tripping. You was tripping. Carrying on conversations. It started from one drunk night. And then you carried it on. But she also entertained it. Like, she liked it. She liked the... I don't know what it was about Shane. But she liked the... Uh, the chance to be toyed with a little bit. I guess, you know, that kind of turns you on when you ain't dealing with your significant other and y'all know it's wrong. That's when the best, the sex is the best. That's why people cheating, it's the best sex, but it's not right. And then once you feel bad for it, you, you keep doing it because you like that adrenaline. Yeah, you knew you was wrong and you slept with her in your at your friend's house in her bed 
Absolutely insane. Miranda should slap the taste out your mouth. That's why she want to move. She can't believe that you slept with this woman in her bed. That's where it all boils down to. Like, that's why Miranda can't get over it because it was in her bed. Had it just been in the car or not, she'd be like, sell the car. Had it been on the boat, she'd be like, all right, sell the boat. But in the house, in her bed, she said, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. With a neighbor like Miranda, mm -mm -mm. now every time you come out, I guess they live across from each other because you have to go across the lake to get to, to them. So they're not like right next door neighbors. So it's not like they come out the front door. They come out the front door and see each other. Um, but it's still, you know, it's still kind of awkward because y'all see each other on the lake that y'all live on. And y'all pass by each other a lot. And then you got uh, Hannah Duke's husband yelling at Shane, knowing damn well it was your wife and Shane, but Shane wrong for that. Shane wrong for pulling a move on her. But she took the bait. She took it. Like So both of them are, should be held accountable for this. Both of them are nasty. You know what I'm saying? Both of them broke their bond between their husband and wife. And really, I don't... For, for Hannah to continue with, her husband should leave her. He should absolutely leave her. But if they work it out, Man, more power to him, you know. But I don't know. It's it's gonna be some turmoil in that house. Maybe they get some counseling. Maybe he's just too scared to stand up to him. But I'm gonna have to get my lick back. There, you went over. You cut the cameras off and went next door. Literally cut the cameras off. That's crazy. That's sneaky on a whole nother level. I went to show the boys some fish and you over here getting tapped on in the lake by the neighbor. That's crazy. Um, You know, like you said, to the tango, they both did it. They both went for it. They could have cut it off immediately, but I think it was burning inside of them. And then they started texting. She, first she said it was wrong. And he was like, you know, we need to talk. We need to and then they say we, it can never happen again and they continue to talk bad news everyday people let me know what y'all think in the comment section like comment and subscribe i'm gonna holler at you later peace <laughs>